today we're going to be talking about the mean Earl and the Dying Girl film! <laughs> So, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, I actually haven't read the book Me, Earl and the Dying Girl. I bought it three years ago because Raylene recommended it to the entire internet. It sat on my shelf until about a week before I was gonna go see the movie. And then I was like, I wanna read it. And I couldn't find the book. It just evaporated from my collection. It was tragic. Because you know when you wanna read a book, when it comes into your brain and then that's it. That's all you wanna read. You have book tunnel vision. I bought the physical book again, but it was not till the day before I saw the film. And then I saw the film and I loved it. I don't know if you saw my summer movie review roundup. I loved Me and Earl the Dying Girl. I loved it enough that I went and saw it a second time. So recently, when 20th Century Fox approached me and asked if I'd like to help them celebrate the release of the DVD of the Me and Earl and the Dying Girl film, I was like, yeah! <laughs> I love that movie! It's a super quirky, funny film. You're not expecting it to be funny. The name screams not funny. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl? That's why I didn't pick it up for so long. I was like, that sounds depressing. It says it's about a dying girl right on the cover! How do you expect me to pick this up and expect it to be funny? But then it was. And I'm sure the book's even funnier because we just fit more content in a book. I laughed. A lot. The 20th Century Fox sent me a digital copy of the film to watch again before doing this, and I laughed again the third time. That's when you know a joke is good, when you've seen it three times and it's still funny. It's really about the journey of the main character, Greg, and he's in high school, and this girl in his class is diagnosed with cancer. His mom makes him befriend her. So they have these forced hangouts, and from there everything just unfolds. It's a story about friendship. It's wonderful. And the acting is fantastic. The guy who plays Greg is hilarious, and I love the chemistry between him and the two actors that play his parents. Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec plays his dad. His character in this film is just fantastic. I love him. Another thing I love about the film is that Jesse Andrews, the author of the book, wrote the script for the film. It just, in my mind, says that the author approves of this message. Obviously, he wrote it. The way the film flows is just really creative and different. The cinematography is unique. The movie definitely gets an A from me. I highly recommend it. I know the film was kind of limited release. It wasn't in theaters everywhere. And now, it's out on digital HD and DVD. You can finally watch it. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave links in the description. If you have seen it and you read the book, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the differences and if you prefer the book or the film. Let's talk about it. I'm Christine. Thanks for watching. I make videos every Tuesday. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.